Uh, hi, Lasita. This is uh, Arun uh, from New Zealand, Hamilton. Uh, good to say hi to you in person, uh, finally, via this video. Uh, I decided to make this video because your questions are quite pertinent. And uh, also, as somebody who has uh, had a visa decline, you will be a little concerned as to uh, whether you should change your course or not. And I believe you are also speaking to your friend in New Zealand and, you know, you got some input. Now, you are saying that you want to shift from your uh, IT sort of a, a course that we applied for before to uh, a business course. Uh, I had a discussion with Nishanti and we are not convinced you should move into a business course for two, three reasons. The whole uh, uh, story that we put together or the whole rationale we put together to the immigration department about your visa application is that you have a background in information technology, but you do not have uh, the, uh, what do you call the uh, formal qualification. And that is why you want to get a formal qualification in information technology and then uh, create a career on it based on that. That is number one. Number two reason why we are not convinced that you should move into business uh, management is because if you come here on a business management course and if your long term aspiration is to stay back in New Zealand by finding work after you complete your course, the chances of finding employment uh, with a business background uh, course is so much more difficult then coming here and doing a technical course like IT or uh, any other technical course. I mean, your own friend Thiran is successful today because he came and did a technical course like 3D animation or visual effects. So this country is constantly looking for people who can come and study technical courses and then end up in technical jobs which are listed in our long term skill shortage area. So if you are planning to change from uh, uh, IT into uh, business, just because you think it might help you to get a student visa, you might be successful. I'm not saying, uh, you know, we will not be successful with that approach. But what happens after you study is that you will be stuck at that point because then trying to find a job in the business role is going to be very difficult. And unless and until you find a job that is relevant to the qualification that you have studied in New Zealand, your future work visas and resident visas and all those other things um, uh, become a little difficult. So based on that, I uh, believe and so also Nishanti, who is also a very senior person, just like me. She also has got 12 years of experience in this industry and we have worked with hundreds of students and uh, we do not think uh, you should switch from IT to business. Instead, we must go back and reapply with the same uh, 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 rationale and uh, logic and thought process and uh, storyline as before. And what is important is you need to sound aggressive and you need to sound confident on the phone, like how I'm talking to you right now, you know, and I'm trying to convince you strongly and clearly through, uh, you know, precise words and language and the tone of my voice and trying to tell you uh, to do the right thing. Likewise, when a visa officer calls you, you're not a young guy, you know, you're a, a grown up person with uh, work experience behind you. You need to talk uh, authoritatively and with confidence and say, hey, look, uh, this is my plan. This is what I'm intending to do. I'm leaving my family back in uh, uh, Sri Lanka and coming to New Zealand. So I'm putting in a lot of investment, effort and time and money to do this. So, you know, and you need to give me an opportunity. And if uh, you provide me that opportunity, I will be a good student and hopefully also become a good future resident and migrant. So I think that is the bottom line decision we have taken. After all this, if you still say, no, I still want to uh, get into business management only, we are happy to go with it, but that needs to be your decision. Uh, and finally, we always tell our clients that the decision has to be yours. We can only provide the advice. So yeah, go ahead and uh, make up your mind and whatever it is, uh, let Nishanti know uh, soon so that we can file your uh, visa application again. So all the very best and uh, we are there to help you. Okay, take care, Lasita.